Welcome back to Dubsy Bricks and another episode of Building Gotham City in Lego. And last couple of updates we've been working on the GCPD. And although it's not finished, no, we're near finished, we're going to hold fire doing any more work on that until we've got some more parts in and decided how we're going to be doing that front section. Also not sure that it's actually going to be staying here on the front of the, the mock. It could possibly do, but I want to sort of like see how a few other parts of the mock go before I make a final decision on that. Due to its unique shape, uh, I do need to make sure that it looks like it's in the right part of the city. One thing I do want to do is put some docks in and I've got this picture just here. If I just put that on screen so you can see a better image of it. And this is something I'm sort of like going to use for inspiration for building our sort of like docks straight port on the on the mock. So we've got some base plates on our work surface and we're going to get the bricks out now. Start uh, putting an outline down and once we've made some progress, we'll check back in and show you what we've done. And we've just started to map out how we're going to be doing the docks area or we think we're going to be doing the docks area. So this is going to be the water line just along here. So we're going to build some brickwork up on here. And then we can have like a wooden pier that comes out along this section here. And then this should just be like a, a concrete one as well. And then we're going to have three or four buildings along here. So this is going to be like a, a warehouse. Then there's going to be like a couple of offices either side. And then another building of some description there. And as I mentioned, I'm using this picture here as the inspiration for it. So we're going to see how it goes. Um, I've just realised, although I've put this on six of the 32 by 32 base plates, how far I'm going back there, I can actually get this on two of the 48 by 48s. So it's going to make it a little bit easier to work on. So I'm going to sort of like get the base, the grey base plates out, and then raise this section up here, and then we'll build all that along. Possibly put the water in now as well. Uh, I think I'm just going to go for the dark. Uh, let's go for the black plates uh, with the trans blue clear trans blue tiles on the top of them so same as what we did at the base of the back cave and i'm just thinking that the water is going to be quite dark around sort of like the, the docks area it'll just be that more gothic look to it but yeah we'll get that all sorted out and we'll check back in once we've made a little bit of progress and we have all the support pillars in place ready for the art plates to go on once we've done that we can just build the brick wall all the way around the edges and using the masonry bricks and some plates and then it's all good to go once we've done that we'll then cover the entire surface over with some gray plate and that hold it all together and i'm going to put some extra bricks just down the center there just where the two base plates join just so when i'm moving it around it doesn't give way so let's get back to doing it and there we have all the art plates on the top and we built the brickwork up here as well which is one of the piers and we put this line of dark blue grey plate all the way around the edge which is what we're going to build build in the brick wall on we're going to be using the masonry bricks however we are going to put some dark blue tiles and bricks on here just had the effect of the it's, the walls got wet through the water so we're just going to sort of have a play with that do different textures all the way along and once we built all that up, as I said before, we put the grey plate all over the top of it. And here it is. We've managed to get the whole of the dock area all plated off. The water effect on the bottom is there. I'm pretty pleased with how that's looking. I think it's going to look a lot better once I put the trans blue um, tiles down on top of the black plates. I've used the art plates, as you saw, underneath here, and they are causing a few problems. They, For some reason, the stud connections are not great on them. They want to sort of like separate and pop up all the time for whatever reason. I've no idea why. So uh, hopefully they are going to be okay. If I, if the problem persists, I will just pull them out and uh, use just normal plates. But uh, yeah, happy with the look of this so far. What we need to do is do the pier coming out of here. So it's going to be in sort of like an owl shape here. Uh, so I want to do that as well as get all of the water done. And we have the pier all built up and tiled off. So we've done different lengths of the brown, reddish brown and one dark dark brown tile on here. Just so it looks like planks on there. And obviously we've plated off all of the area that's going to be water with the black plate. Now what we do is get the trans blue tiles and cover all of that. And then that'll be that job done. And then we can start concentrating on the upper area. So let's get tiling. And there it is. The water section has all been completed on the docks. So very pleased with the effect that it's come out with on there. And I think going for the black plate underneath 
was probably the right decision on there. All we need to do now is do the outlines of the buildings as we did on the base plates originally, and then we can get that uh, all built up. So yeah, happy how it's coming along. We have got one odd stud left over just there where we haven't been able to put a trans blue on because we've only got two by one light trans blue studs. Um, however, obviously the, the water will be continuing on the next base plate across eventually, so we can just tile it off when we get to that stage. But yeah, let's uh, start those buildings. And here we have the starts of the ground floor of the first structure. So we decided to go for the sand green and the dark bluish grey with reddish brown windows and door frames. A couple of splashes of olive on there and then we just put this dark blue grey grill in sort of thing just for some added detail. And at the back it steps back and I'm going to put some wooden steps coming up here which will then lead to the next floor and then there'll be another sort of like room or office at the top here. So I thought it would be good to do the modular style so you can peel the floors off just so you put the minifigs in there and do the storytelling in there. So yeah, let's get building on that next floor up. And we've got the top floor now on to the first building on the docks here. And as I said before, it's a smaller room with the stairs at the back and there's a flat roof which people can walk across to. And then the door is on the back there. And again, we're going to be doing it so it's the modular style. So you can take the roof off once again. The light tan uh, plates that are in there at the moment purely because I haven't got any sand green plates. I'll do an obvious colour so I know when I've got to swap them over. In the stadium, I need to put some of the four by one tiles which have got a stud on either end to help with the roof so and also need to put some more on here because at the moment there's just the one on the front there so it's uh, not good enough at the moment uh, not sure what i'm going to do on this bit here i was just about to tile it all off with reddish brown uh, tiles to make it look like planks however um, i thought i might put some railings or something along there so once i've decided on that then i'll Put those details on there windows again i need to change those out for the reddish brown i know i've got some somewhere but again all of these things are what i can amend at a later stage but yeah please with how that first building's looking next up we're going to do the next building which is going to be uh, i'm going to do in a probably a light bl bluish gray uh, color and that's going to be the main like warehouse part but there won't be a warehouse door on there so it'll just be an open sort of like room so yeah let's get building on that one and as you can see, the warehouse has come on quite nicely. Trying to get a fair bit of detail in there, but obviously not overdo it. So put some cheese slopes in above and below the window, just so there's a slight bit of uh, detail in there. And we're going to try and do some sort of like writing in the in the gap there. So I'm just going to put a four by plate all the way across the front there. Put some sort of like front on on there, sort of like pattern wise or a curve or something like that. Still haven't decided whether or not to put a door on. I wasn't going to originally, but I think it might look better if there is a, a warehouse door on there. And at the back, we've put some steps in there and also a platform and we'll put like a little office bit up at the top there. And then there's a door around the back. Put Randomly put some masonry bricks in just again. So when looking from the back, there is a bit of a break in detail. But yeah, pleased with how the progress is coming on on our docks here. Not sure what building we're going to do next on here, but I would like to put another one. Uh, the only other thing I was contemplating doing is putting some like cargo containers or something like that. But um, could possibly do both. Uh, another option is to have a, another sort of like build in there and then do loads of like large-ish pallets and things like that. So uh, trying to get as much detail as possible in there. And then once we've done that, we can start thinking about doing the finer details like lighting, not electric lights that we'd be putting into it, but just like lamp posts and things like that. And here is the warehouse so far. And we've put a couple of details in like the uh, plates on the, on the snot bricks here. But the one thing I do think is it looks a little bit too tidy. So I'm gonna sort of like take the occasional brick out and put a snot brick, uh, a masonry brick in there just to make it look a little bit more run down and untidy and a little bit older looking, so to speak. The picture that we're using for inspiration is this one here. And if you look at the building in the middle, it looks like they're above the sort of curved roof bit, there is another room or something on top of that. So again, that is something that I may possibly add on to this. But, uh, we'll, we'll carry on, see what we come up with. And uh, then we'll work out what we're going to put in this section here. And then like I said, I think I'm going to actually put some pallets around this area or some crates or something along there just to give it that dock site like look. Whether or not we put a crane or something to for unloading the boat that would be there, that might be another idea. 
but again all these things we can add to it obviously the dock is going to continue on this to this side as well so it's not we're not just restricted to that space so i could potentially put the crane over that side as well but anyway enough talking let's get back to seeing what we can create so we've made a couple of amendments to the front we've put a couple of masonry bricks in put a couple of splashes of the dark bluish grey in and put a couple of cracks in the wall as well and I think it's looking a lot more run down and better and I will change out a couple of these bricks at some stage for some uh, other colours which we haven't actually got at the moment so things like the uh, olive green would be quite good and stuff like that so we will uh, continue to modify this as we go along just need to decide whether or not to put anything on top of the inner roof but anyway let's uh, carry on building and see what we can come up with and just checking in again with another update so we built this other building here which we put the number one on love the way the number one stands out on there happy with the color scheme and everything but i'm not liking the look of the docks in some ways and i'm thinking about changing this room completely or this part entirely so obviously as you can see at the moment it's quite a tall building i mean a minifigure would probably only come up to there so it's almost three minifigures in height that you could fit through there and what i'm contemplating doing is making this so it's a little bit lower and having two sort of like uh, warehouses then putting a platform on top of it and then possibly putting some structures on top of that so i'm going to peel this building off i'm not going to destroy it because if i if i want to i can then just put it straight back this is only a rectangle and again i can peel off these window sections or these front sections here and build using other bricks in my inventory and then if I don't like it I can quite easily go back to doing that so I'm just going to have a little bit of a mess around with it um, so I'd sooner get this right from the word go and it's the same over here I'm just wondering whether these dark bluish grey um, strips should be um, sort of like reddish brown so again I'm going to have a little think about that but as I said the, way, the good thing is the way that I'm building this is so easy to make amendments as I go along and uh, yeah we're just going to have a go at that now and we'll check back in once you've done a little bit more work on it and show you what we've come up with and just checking in one more time and we've got the number two all written on what will be the second warehouse and i'm liking the the details that are coming into it i think by doing it this little bit smaller as well it's going to look a little bit better having the smaller doors on there one thing i'm going to do whilst i'm at this stage is i'm going to peel off all of these gray plates and the art plates underneath it and raise everything by one brick then what I'm going to do, instead of doing a brick wall at the back of each of the warehouses, there'll be another door and I'm going to do a loading bay. So the mills plates that we do behind these ones here will be that much lower so that lorries can reverse up to the loading bay. And then you can just sort of like load up the lorry straight away without having to go up and down any ramps or anything like that. It's going to help with getting the mills plates lowered because i don't want to be going three bricks high the whole way across the city so it's just going to be a complete waste of bricks so i think we'll do that straight away and then once we've done so we'll carry on building all of this building up here and we'll check back in and show you what we've done and we're just checking in one more time we've got the warehouses one and two all built up now so all we need to do is put the row tile on the top to do the modular style where you can peel the roofs off and then that way i can get inside to put any finer details in at a later stage and tile the floor and things like that and also if I decide I want to put some stairs at the side here um, I can do so I've still got to work out how you're going to get to the top because once we put the roof on here we're going to then put some more buildings as I mentioned earlier on and we've still got to put back the green building that we had on there before um, and again I might tweak that one a little bit and just make it a little bit smaller just purely so that it makes the warehouses look that little bit bigger but uh, let's get back to it and we'll check back in once we've made a little bit more progress and we're just checking in one final time for this update so we put the building back down the end there however it's likely to be changed well it's definitely going to be changed we're going to lose the number one on there because obviously we've got the one and two on the two warehouses there um, but we might do a completely different style of building there um, still a design the building that's going to be going on the top and this one here we have tweaked so i've narrowed it by a couple of bricks originally the door came out a little bit and now it's just flush with the wall and um, that's made it i think it's two bricks narrow and i've also i've put two windows at the top there as opposed to one and the reason for the two windows instead of one was purely so that it looks symmetrical if i just put two in there because of the number of studs on there it wouldn't have worked out still got to get the right color window frame for there but these details are things i can change further down the line 
made a slight amendment to the pier there just to give it a little bit more detail so you, these bits here are one studded wider each side and obviously the the, the uprights come up past it now so if a boat was coming along they could just chuck the ropes over that but really pleased with how the docks is coming along this one is going to be a work in progress i can tell that i'm going to change quite a bit of it quite a few times it's going to be extended down probably by another 32 studs or so it'd be nice to have some sort of like crane and whatever else on there and also some containers and uh, pallets and sort of like all things like that and wooden crates all sort of things you expect to see around the docks where all the dodgy dealings are going on in Gotham City and get some forklifts in and all the finer details. But all of those things we can add over time. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the update. If you have, please give us a big thumbs up. If you haven't already done so, please consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, remember to hit that notification bell so you can get up to date with any future content on the channel. And please share with your family and friends. Anyway, thanks for coming by. See you next time. Bye for now.